Hey everybody, just a quick one for today to put out something that I learned a while back. I've been super busy with work and ideas for side projects like this are starting to stack up. So this is something that I wanted to put out there and it just kind of got lost in the list. I want to show you something called the Hide Volume Tool. I've mentioned it once before in another video, but this allows you to hide sections of minis, props, or light effects. Specifically for this video, I want to show you how I've used it to light things up while hiding the source of that lighting. This is kind of an updated bit of information from my previous video on lighting, where I legitimately hadn't played around with this tool yet. I have three rooms here, they're all identical, and inside I've placed Joel and Brian from AAA NPC. You can see from the lights on the wall that the torches themselves don't really reach far enough to light up the minis. A single light on the wall, or even stacked lights on the wall, don't really provide much light outside of their own radius. To get around this, what I did in the first video was kind of hide lights in walls, roofs, and floors, and while this does provide additional lighting in the room, it's not very much and it gives these glow effects on the wall which might go against the aesthetic that you're looking for. So here's how you use the hide volume tool. You push tab. Down here in this little menu that pops up, there's a button labeled the edit hide volume tool. You can click that and then click Add Hide Volume. This will create a cube that you can click and drag around objects, and then by clicking any of the six walls, you can drag them back and forth to include as much or as little as you want. You can right-click that volume then to choose how it filters objects. You can reveal everything in it, delete it, or sort the filter by allowing props, minis, or lighting effects to come through. Using the modern lights, you can have a white light effect to light up rooms, bring attention to specific details, or light up places so that minis are more easily seen in darkness. Using this, you can have areas appear well lit by hiding many thematically appropriate lights inside a volume, like I did for this tavern from the opening credits of AAA NPC. There's a ton of flickering flames in here to mimic the light effect from the lanterns on the walls, and they are all hidden within a hide volume. I've also used this to draw attention to specific objects, like hiding a couple blue crystals to get their light effects on this mushroom, or a bunch of modern white lights to make this lily appear to glow. You can use this in dungeons to give glow effects to certain rooms, corners, items, or NPCs, and keep in mind that within Tailspire lighting and nature menus, there are a ton of colors and light effects that you can use as well. So my views on this YouTube channel range from like 150 to 12,000, and I don't really understand how YouTube works. I've mentioned it a couple times in this video, but my friends and I got together and made an animated show called Triple A NPC using Tailspire. It's just a goofy, stupid show, but if you like D&D, I really think you'll enjoy the video. I've had a lot of fun with this channel as sort of a side hobby since I work from home, and the feedback that I get has been mostly positive, so thank you for that. Now, I know this is a really short video. It's all I really had to say. I love you. We'll see you later.